How? I cannot lose. I'm going home. I'm going home with my sister. It's over. Is it? The worlds are still split. The giant tree has not yet germinated. What exactly is it that's over? Okay, first of all, I want to know, how the hell did you teleport in here? Good timing. I wanted to ask you something. And how is anyone not phased by that? What was it that you saw in Mythos? Why did you help him seal Origin? Mythos was my apprentice and a valuable friend. Isn't that enough? Do you forgive anything someone does, no matter how horrible? Just because he's your friend? I don't see a need to explain myself further. If you want to release Origin Seal, you must defeat me. Kratos, wait! I'll be waiting for you before the seal. Lloyd, let's head back first. Okay? By the way, Zealous, where did you learn a method for humans to equip the Eternal Sword? I really think it'd be better if I didn't say. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's a strange thing to say. Go to Heimdall. Everything should become clear there. Alright. Alright, so back to Heimdall, cause, yeah, Jesus. That may have been the final battle, but shit ain't over yet. Let's make our way over there, and there's an invisible barrier protecting us from going the fuck out of here. And let me go in there. Let me just jump straight into it. Or not. Whatever. And quick jump. Lloyd, welcome. Your visitor has already entered Torrent Forest, where Origin sleeps. <laughs> Thank you. And we'll see you when we get back. When you get back. Blah, blah. Wait, Professor Genus. Elder, please let these two into the village. It's only for now. They're my close friends and I want them to be there when I face off against Kratos. Unthinkable. No half-elf may enter our village. Well, fuck you, you motherfucker. I don't know. I'm trying to mix it up there. That kind of attitude gave rise to Crucius. What did you say? Stop, both of you. The, cha the chasm that separates us from the half-elves is deep and dark. Nevertheless, there is reason in what you say. Thus, from now until origin is sealed, I will grant these two entrance to the village. Thank you. However, they may not use any of our facilities, is that clear? That's fine. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Seriously! Then let's go to where Kratos is. Oh, wait, wait, you should relax a little first. You're about to fight your father, remember? Remember? I know that! Lead is right. Don't be hasty, Lloyd. The fate of the world rests on your battle with Kratos. Let's rest here tonight and you can sort out your feelings. This will be the end of our journey. Alright. Yep, so now we're just going to be having one little chat, and there is going to be a scene with whoever you choose Toast to talk to in Flanor. What is it? Ah, nothing. Are you feeling uneasy? What? If you don't kill Kratos, Origin will not be released. Even if you somehow manage to avoid fighting, you still have to release Origin. If you release Origin, Kratos may die and you're right back where you started. Yeah, I want to talk to him. I want to ask him if there isn't any other way. You must prepare yourself for the possibility that there isn't. Professor, I'm sorry, I always they say things so coldly. No, you say the harsh things on purpose. It's, it's for our benefit. Thank you. Lloyd, tonight I'll make up my mind about whether or not I will kill Kratos. Kill him. Kill him now. Jesus, I'll make up your mind for you. Kill him. Hey, you know how they say he who chases two hares won't catch either? Huh? Hairs? How do you chase hairs? I mean, chase someone and grab them by the hair? <laughs> you know, Lloyd, sometimes I think you are a true genius. <laughs> Thanks, genius. That wasn't a compliment. What it means is if you, you're greedy and try to get everything, you'll fail. Like me. Genius? I wanted to be friends with both you and Mythos. Mythos was the first friend I've ever had that was my race. But in the end, with my own hands, I... I'm sorry, genius. He was your friend and I... I don't want you to apologize for that. 
Man, that thing glows really freaking brightly. Picked it up in the Tower of Salvation, but I just couldn't bring myself to destroy it. I took it with me. I thought I'd at least show him the regenerated world. I see. Lloyd, don't do anything you'll regret. That's all I wanted to say. So yeah, now he has Mythos' Crucius Crystal. As a memento, I suppose. So, I'm in a really bad mood, just so you know. What are you talking about all of a sudden? I just can't accept the way he acts. You know, Kratos. I'm sorry. You don't need to apologize. Well, yeah, but... Well, I guess you are his son, but I gotta say, the way he's decided to leave the job of settling things up to you is just, like, really irresponsible. It's like he's trying to run away from the situation. <laughs> you start putting down people, even Kratos isn't safe. Lloyd, if you're having trouble finding the answer, just chant my special, special magic words. Special magic words? Whatever will be, will be. Just like that one song, like Que Sera, Que Sera, and all that other crap. I'm not even going to bother singing it because I suck at singing. I mean, really badly. It runs in my family, pretty much. <laughs> Actually, no, it doesn't. Like, yeah, wait, collect. Yeah, I don't want to go to sleep. Not yet. I'll just talk to you. It'll be all right. What are you saying all of a sudden? Well, see, I have good luck. Even though I was a Chosen who was supposed to die, thanks to you, I'm here alive. Yeah. When you and the others are sad, I'm sad. And so, to make sure I don't get sad, you won't let anything sad happen to you. You sure are optimistic. Heh, <laughs> sorry. Don't apologize. Thanks. No, I'm really sorry I don't have anything else I can say. Alright, cool. So let's go find everyone else. I believe we still have to talk to Sheena, Regal, and Persea. Oh, well, there's Persea. Let's get her out of the way. Sitting here, it just doesn't seem real that the world is heading towards destruction. Yeah, if the Great Sea doesn't wake up, this world will... What we're doing may be against the laws of nature. What? People chose the path of destruction. What we're trying to do may be nothing more than meaninglessly, meaninglessly extending the lifespan of the world. Are you saying it's better if the world is destroyed? I don't know. I don't think anyone knows what is best. That's why you're having difficulty deciding. Perseo. There may not be a correct path, so please choose what you really believe for yourself. Thanks, Perseo. All that's left is Regal and Sheena, and yes. I'll save Sheena for last or something. Hint, hint. I mean, come on, if you guys... Now, if you guys have barely been starting to watch this Let's Play and don't find it obvious who I chose to talk to with Lenore, well, I just pretty much gave a dead giveaway just now. It was Regal. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, what up, buddy? Buddy old pal. You look tired. Really? Crucius was destroyed, but a bigger problem still remains. It's only natural that you're fatigued. But this is the end. I didn't expect to fight Kratos in the end. I understand well your desire for wanting your father to live and your desire to unite the worlds as well. Yeah, if I don't do anything, this world will wither. Everyone will die. At times like this, you have two options. Choose what you desire to do, or what you must do. Well, that was short, sweet, and to the point, Kratos. Or, not Kratos, Regal. <laughs> hey, are you alright? What? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You're not someone who would answer that question with a no. I'm so stupid. Sheena, no, I'm really okay. I just have hesitations. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, lemons! Anyone would be confused. This thing with Kratos was so sudden. But there's no time for it. I have to decide. I can't waver back and forth waiting, wanting to save both like the way I was with Colette. Father and a son battling to the death. It's horrible. Sheena, you don't have to make yourself feel bad about it. Thank you. I'll think long and hard about it. I'll find an answer that won't make you feel that way again. Sorry I couldn't cheer you up. No, don't worry about it. Thanks. Alright, I guess that's everyone. Let's go to sleep, my buddies. Because, yes, I really want to go to sleep myself. But, unfortunately, I still have more stuff to record. Ha ha ha. Plus, I got homework to do. I wonder, can I go past Colette? No, I can't. Well, where am I going to save? I want to at least save for now. Because, yeah, this is quite a lot to take in. I mean, we went... From fighting Crucius and killing Mythos to, yeah, fighting our dad and all of a sudden, yeah. Or maybe we just, oh, look at that. Please let us save. Or not.
What is it? You mean who, you jackass? Um, <laughs> you still up? I couldn't really get to sleep. Well, in that case, you want some company for a little while? Bow chicka wow wow. Okay, I'm done. Okay then, just for a little while. Oh god, what are they doing? It went pitch black. Oh wait, never mind. So, aren't you nervous? Huh? About tomorrow, the battle with Kratos. Yeah, a little. Right, of course you'd be. Doesn't it bother you? What, fighting with Kratos? Yeah. I mean, he's your father, right? Isn't it kind of difficult to face him? The fact that he's my father still hasn't sunk in. When I stop and think about it, it does seem like he helped me out a lot along the way. But he also betrayed us and put us through hell. So accepting the fact that he's my father is harder to deal with than the fact that I have to fight him. Oh, I see. But, you know, I'm still a little envious. Why? Well, you know, I was abandoned as a child. So I don't have a clue who my parents are. Ah. Uh. I thought about what it would be like if I was in your place. I mean, if my parent was my enemy and yet still came to my aid. I think I'd just be all confused. <laughs> I'm confused too. Even now. <laughs> well, so, when I imagined about fighting my own father tomorrow, I got really frightened. You did? <laughs> you dork. You don't have to put yourself in my shoes that much, you know? I know, but either way, it nearly drove me crazy. I couldn't take it. Anyway, I mean, that's how I felt, so I thought maybe you're feeling the same way. <laughs> Thanks, Sheena. Ah, nah, it's, uh... Say, what are you planning to do after this? After this? When the worlds are reunited, our journey will be over, right? So what then? Well, I think I want to go on a journey to collect all the X-Spheres. Oh, that's a good idea. Could I... Could I come along with you? Huh? You don't have to go back to Mizuho? I... I want to... I want to be with you. Oh, yeah. Sure. I want to be with you, too. Really? <laughs> then it's settled, okay? You can't change your mind now. Jesus. We're going together on a journey to collect all the X-Spheres in the world. Yeah. That way, no more people will fall victim to the X-Spheres. And these things will never be dragged into a conflict like this again. It's a promise. If you don't keep it, I'm gonna invoke the Mizuho tradition of making a liar swallow a thousand needles. Whoa. Okay. Okay, I promise. Alright, now I can save! Oh, that's the whole thing I was thinking of until now. Yeah, let me just save. Hey, hey, what up, buddy? You and Kratos are going to... I'm sorry. No, you're not. You know you want to see two humans duke it out for the fate of the world and all that crap. Anyway, I'm done for now. I'm going to stop recording for now because, yeah, this is quite a lot to take in. I've been recording for like the past hour and 15 minutes. So, if you like these parts, give it a like. Subscribe if you want to watch future videos. And feel free to watch any of my previous videos if you really feel like it. And personal space everywhere in this bitch. do like it get closer. Eh, 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 eh. Eh, good enough. <laughs> so, next time on Let's Play Tales of Symphonia, we're going to be fighting Kratos for the Origin Seal. So, see you guys then. Hey, hey, keep going right there. Hey, 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 come on. See you guys then.